Mary Hoon and Jan Vosloo met as students living in South Africa. Two years later, the young people got engaged, and in the spring of 2021 they planned to have a big wedding. Jan, 25, an agriculture graduate, and his fiancée, Mary, 28, the business management student, lived on a dairy farm. The guy worked on this farm, while the girl got a job at a forestry company. The young people seemed like an ideal couple, and they spent a lot of time together. At the end of April 2020, Jan and Mary decided to take a romantic vacation. A few years ago, while scrolling through photos on Facebook, a girl saw a romantic place where she planned to visit someday, and finally the planned vacation became a reason to visit. It was supposed to be an ideal weekend, relaxing in a stone cottage located in a very picturesque place. The stone cottage was part of a guest farm and provided an idyllic setting. A river roared in the immediate vicinity, and mountains loomed in the distance. The stone cottage, designed for six beds, is equipped with a kitchen. There is no cellular network, there is no electricity in the premises, but nevertheless, food can be stored in a gas-powered refrigerator. The cottage's bathroom has a glass roof, and at night it's especially romantic to take a hot shower under a sky strewn with dozens of stars. Jan's close friend and former classmate, 25-year-old Stefan, knew the owner of a unique place, and the guy organized a several-day vacation for three people, for himself and his friends. Mary was very excited about the upcoming weekend, and the three friends were looking forward to the change of scenery. Taking their dog with them, the Rottweiler couple hit the road. All the time while they were driving to their destination, and while they were in the cellular network area, the girl wrote a message to her family that she was happy to go to such an amazing place. The day before, Stefan agreed with the couple to meet them the next day, at the guest farm, and the three of them would continue their vacation. The next day after the couple's arrival, Sunday, April 26, Stefan arrived at the guest farm. But after looking around the area, the guy did not hear either the voices of Jan or Marie, and the door to the cottage where the couple stayed was closed. Stefan called out to his friends, but no one answered him. The young man entered the cottage and began to examine the premises with curiosity and caution. Suddenly opening the bathroom door, Stefan saw his friends. The couple lay on the floor in an embrace and completely naked. The young people showed no signs of life. The shocked friend immediately called the necessary services. A little later, the police report stated that during the investigation, the mysterious circumstances of the incident emerged, since the couple did not have any visible injuries, except that Mary's complexion was cherry red. Then the police requested a toxicological examination, and the families of the boys and girls waited for the expert's report for almost a year. The study showed that a high content of carbon monoxide, or carbon monoxide in other words, was concentrated in the couple's body. This gas is colorless, odorless, and tasteless, and as such it is relatively unnoticeable. Carbon monoxide easily combines with hemoglobin, affecting gas exchange processes. Levels in the body above 50% can lead to death, and the examination found that the couple's body contained more than 70%. Initially, the investigation assumed that the incident was the result of a gas leak, since the shower in the bathroom was powered by a gas boiler, but the police soon announced that they were now investigating the crime. The 47-year-old farm owner was arrested and taken to court. After questioning witnesses and experts, the man was charged with two counts. It was unclear why the investigation referred to premeditated crime, which meant the owner of the company intended to specifically harm the guests, because the police had initially stated that in their opinion, a faulty elm boiler was to blame. Court hearings in this case were postponed several times. The case is still not closed. 